What's up guys? So today we're going to talk about what a shuffle is. So basically a shuffle is based out of triplets. Triplet being a grouping of three notes. So when you take a beat and you divide that into three individual notes, that's a triple that. So just think triple that, triple that, triple that, triple that. That's the first step, learning what a triplet is. So just get used to playing triplets around the drums. And get used to just thinking about how the rhythm feels. Triple that, triple that, triple that, triple that. Because what a shuffle is, is what we call the first and the third partial of the triplet. So it's triple that, triple that, but you do that over and over again. Triple that, triple that, triple that, triple that, triple Now the thing that gives it the feeling of a shuffle is that slight accent you do on every trip. Triple that, triple that, triple that, triple that. If we bump the tempo, triple that, 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 triple that. So you just want to be nice and loose with the wrist. Allow the wrist to kind of do this flowing motion. You might refer to it as molar, whatever. Just a flowing motion, okay? You don't want the wrist to be locked. We're not doing this. We're not locking the wrist and going. You can't really do a shuffle like that. You have to have the wrist more flowy. Have to flow with the wrist and the stick. Shh. Accent, tap, accent, tap, accent. So you really want to practice that first. And one trick that we use as drummers on the shuffle is we accent the side of the stick on the side of the hi-hat. The shoulder of the stick on the side of the hi-hat. And then we tap the let, triple let, with like this, what we would call an upstroke, where the tip of the stick is on the top of the hi-hat and I'm about to go up for my next shoulder hit. Triple that, 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 So that basically is a shuffle, that right there. Now you don't have to have the accent pattern on there. You could do it on just the tip with the top of the hi-hat. It depends on what sound you're going for. Are you going for more of the ch sound? Or are you going for more of just the clean ta 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 sound? Now on the bottom, you do what you do for every groove. You play bass on one and three, snare on two and four. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one, two, three, Now to play fills with this idea, you want to use triplet based ideas because that's usually how it works in music. If you're coming from some sort of bass of uh, triplets on the hi-hat, you're going to want to copy that around the drums. So you can either do eighth note triplets, you could do just some of the triplets, or you could go to sixteenth triplets, also called sextuplets. So you put that all together and you get something that sounds like this. <laughs> 